companies will have to start preparing for it as quickly as possible because on one hand there is just a new generation that is very different and has different expectations from the workplace and now we are layering of it the covid period and what it means to this generation so i think the first thing to understand is gen z are very independent <clears throat> they are very ambitious and competitive so this is not the millennials doing kumbaya in the office wanting tennis tennis uh, 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 tables and um, and kind of cute atmospheres and the kind of the google office kind of design uh, they want to have their personal space they want to if they want to progress very fast they want to pay about they want to be paid above the average so their expectations are super high but i think one of the the things that people who employ gen z need to be aware of is that we are now moving into a truly multi generational uh, workforce and if you think about it when i think about some of my former clients they were there are still a uh, late 60 and even early 70 people in the workforce and now you have this newcomer who are early 20s we're talking between 40 to 50 years gap between the older and the younger and what really happens is that you have every generation has their own views about what does it mean to be a good employee what does it mean to do a good job uh, what does it mean to perform in the workplace? And when you have these views that are contradicting each other, you could create some conflicts. And the conflict could arise really from clash clashing in values and work style, but also from subconscious bias. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the older people think the younger people are too soft, they are not hardworking, the, the, the young people think the older are detached and disconnected. So I think one of the most important things that companies can do is think about how they create a more harmonious workplace. And there are some really good strategies that I'm talking about in the book on how to do that. And uh, I think one thing is actually to put the cards on the table and have conversations. And the other is to try and find as much commonalities as possible, because in the end of the day, no matter which generation you are, I think we all want to go to work and do a good job and get great, good feedback and feel that we are doing something that is meaningful. And I think if we build on these commonalities, we will be able to create a, a more harmonious um, workplace that is functioning and productive of course there are always things that have to do with the what i call technical hr which is how do you design your benefits how do you how do you design compensation how do you run your reviews and so on and so forth and those need to be adjusted by generations but in essence i think it's all about finding commonalities